Hello. So I'm going to go over um, the homework or the capstone project rather for um, Microsoft Word. So I've already downloaded these files from Sam and what I'm going to do, there's actually two PNG files like that. And this file has the template that we'll be um, editing for the instructions, which are Close out some stuff I got open. Uh, so I'm going to split my screen so I can see a better idea of what I'm doing here. So this is starting from brand new. We've already gone past this in class, but um, I'm starting this from scratch here. So we open up the file. Go over, over it. Um, should be able to see file name, which I'm not. Okay, so there's the file name. And the first instruction to get started was to rename this to um, number two. So to do that, you go to File, Save As. Um, just wanna, let's see here. I'm trying to find a place where I wanna put this. I'm going to see if I can add my Marshall OneDrive to this computer. Let's see. This type of account doesn't work for this particular service. Let's try OneDrive for business. Seems to be getting better. Okay. So on my phone, I did the little notification. Yes. I'm going to pause this while this is doing this thing. Oh, wait a minute. That's done. Okay. So hopefully, let's go back to this. I'm going to pause this while it's doing that. Okay, I'm back. And let's see. So just to file, save as, and I now have my Marshall one linked up on here. So OneDrive. Now the instructions remember was just to make that number one into a number two and hit save. Probably should have put it in a folder. I'll do that later. Um, let's see. And from my version of Word that I have, it may vary depending on what you're using. My auto save turned on, which is indicated on the top left hand corner. So, what that means is anytime any changes are made, it should automatically save it. Um, yeah. So, da, 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 okay, the steps. Um, so, at the, as a publicity manager for your local library's so used book sale, you need to format a one page flyer announcing the event. So, we're going to change the margins to normal. Uh, let's see. That'd be layout, margins, normal. Okay. 
Then let's see what else we have to do. To make the text easier to read, modify the normal style by changing the font size to 12 points. So we go to home and or, so under the home tab, there's the style section right here. You right click, modify, and we're changing that to 12, not 112. 12. Okay, and the font size got bigger. Um, so in the first paragraph, type the word use so that the heading reads giant used book sale. Used. Um, format the heading. Okay, center the heading. Increase the font to 36. So we want to center it. Font size is 36. Now you'll notice most of these are under the home tab. Okay. Um, change font to Times New Roman. So you can actually scroll down to find it, or if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can type it and it'll start filtering it out. So Times New Roman. Use the text effects and typography button to the fill gray 50% or the fill gray accent font shadow. So we're going to select this content again, the heading, and this is what we're wanting. If I remember correctly from class, not that one. Is it this one? Gray accent color one shadow. Accent, gray accent on shop. Yep. Okay. Apply the default bottom border paragraph to the heading giant used. So we select that again and under paragraph, you'll see um, there's a little border icon. The default, I believe, is already set to be the bottom border. But if you ever need to change your borders, here's all the other options you can use. But we're just going to do the default of bottom border, so you just need to click on it. Um, insert a format, a picture as follows. So we're going to move our insertion point to where left of the G of the giant used. And we are going to insert the book tree image. So our insertion point is where it was, we were told, right before the G. Insert. Oh, pictures. Let's see if I can find it. Well, it was downloaded, so it's in my downloads. I'll just do it that way. Okay. There's the tree. Okay. And we're going to resize it so it's 0.75. So we select the tree. And again, under picture format, if we, if we have the image selected, a picture format tab opens up. If the picture is not selected, the tab is not appearing. So you have to make sure you're selecting the picture for the picture format tab to appear. So we want this to be 0 0.75. And as the instructions indicated, the work. Horizontal will also change to 0 0.75. So apply square as text wrapping. So if we are if we have the image selected in this little box here that's layout options, click on that and square. Recolor the picture using the dark gray text color dark two. 
So make sure the picture selected. Um, let's see. Color. What was it? We look dark gray text color dark two. Dark gray text color dark two dark. Oh, that's right. Okay. Add a brown accent six border to the picture. So we select the picture and center probably just I uh, know picture border. I think it was this top one. It's five. X and six, okay. Okay, we're gonna find the words VHS and change it to DVD. So control F will take you to find, or take you to the, open up the navigation panel. And we're gonna look for VHS. And in this little, drop down arrow right here, hit replace, replace it with DVD, and replace all. Yes. And close it up. Um, format the first body paragraph. So for the before paragraph, that's 12 point, and after it's 18. So for the first body, um, let's see. Under the layout tab, the, the before is 12 and after is 18. The first sentence of the body paragraph format the text New Clintonville as the intense emphasis style. So, New Clintonville Public Library, select that. And go to home. Okay, where was it? Maybe it was design. So, what are we looking for again? Attends emphasis. Oh, there it is. So it's under, uh, under the home tab and then styles, intense, emphasis. There you go. After the period at the end of the first body paragraph, insert a footnote to the following sentence. So I'm just going to copy this. At the end of the period of the first body paragraph, so make sure your insertions point is after that period. Um, references, I think. Insert footnote under footnotes. Insert footnote. And I'm just going to control V to paste that sentence down there. So I'll we'll do that. I'll show you again. So um, what a footnote does is it, it puts a little one or two if you have more um, up here, like right where you want it to be as a reference point. And then what it also does at the bottom of the page in the footer area, it'll also do like the matching one. So when somebody's reading the content, they see, hey, there's a little footnote there of the number one. Let's put that back in there. 
they'll know to look down here in the like the fine print area, so to speak, in the footer area, and then um, they'll see, hey, there's free governments. I don't like the way this is moving over to the center, but it doesn't really say one thing or the other, so I'm just leaving it alone. Four path the paragraph Thursday, May 19th through May 23rd as follows. Actually, I'm not going to leave that alone. I really don't like that. Let's see if I can get this over. Yeah. I like that better. Okay. That's just me. Um, format the paragraph Thursday, May 19th through May 23rd as follows. May 19th Thursday. Center it. Change it to 16. Apply white background one, darker 50. White background. And make the font white. Format the text on beginning mass marketing paperbacks and the romances as a bulleted list. So we select this area and under cylinder home tab in the paragraph, you'll see bullets. And then you'll see numbers. Those are the two ways that we can list it. Um, it says bulleted list. If you hit the drop down, there's a variety of different bullets you can use. But um, we're just going to use the default. And for the default, we just need to click on the bullets. Um, let's see. So now we're going to insert a second picture. Move the insertion point before the M and mass, mass market paperbacks, and we want to do the bookshelves picture. So insert pictures. Okay. Can't get anything to show up in my OneDrive here. I don't know why. But it's in my downloads. And resize the picture so it's a height of 2.9. 2.9. And it said that the width will automatically be 3.49, which it is. Apply square text wrapping. So we make sure we have the picture selected. The layout styles, square. Apply the simple frame white picture style. So select the picture. When you select the picture, remember a picture format tab appears. White, simple frame, simple frame white, yep. Modify the table below. We're still accepting donations, heading as follows. So we're still accepting donations. Insert a new row below the books row. So if you put your cursor at the end of front desk, you can hit tab and it'll automatically insert a new row. And that next row, we're going to write DVDs and reference desk. And apply the grid table for accent one. So make sure you select the grid. And so you'll notice like whenever like whenever we click on picture, a new um, tab appears up here for you to make some edits. Same thing for tables. If you select the table, 
And I usually just select the entire table. If you hover over it, this little square pops up on the left-hand corner. I select that. I click on that, and the entire thing selected. Um, and we are going to apply a grid table for accent one. So once I have the table selected, you'll see that there's new tabs up here. And we are doing the, what was it again? Grid table for accent one. Table five, table five, table four, accent one. Resize the table and using auto and contents. Um, let's see, let's try to lay out. Auto fit, contents. Insert the text shown in table two on the next page. I missed something. Yeah, I did. Okay. And center it on the table. Center the table on the page. So I still have my table selected. You can see that because it's still shaded. And if I go to home and under the paragraph and hit center, it's centered. In the last blank paragraph of the document, follow the par that follow the paragraph that reads, We especially need children's book pictures this year. Insert a second table. So we're going to insert a table, two columns, and four rows. So there's a sentence, um, need picture books this year. Insert table, two columns, four rows. Right? Yeah. Merge the cells in row one. So we select the first row. And let's see. Under layout, you'll see under merge, you'll see merge cells. Enter the text shown in table two in the next page. Okay, I'll close that. Move this over and start typing. And you can just tap over to each individual cell. You don't need to use your mouse. I'm more of a keyboard person. So if there's a way that I can do it by keyboard, I will. Um, yeah. As you can see, the, the last row, it went on the second page. I'm not sure if we're going to fix that at the end of this exercise or not. I assume so. So that's what it should look like. Um, so we're going to apply a grid table for accent one. So click on that. So all the tables selected on both pages because it is only one table. And table design, table styles, uh, grid table for accent one, just the same one we did before. Uh, oh, this one. Yep. Add a header to the document as follows. I don't like the way that looks. Are we supposed to change the color somewhere? Oh, we'll see. Um, right align the text in column two for rows two and four, two through four. So we select um, the second column um, um, from row two, three, and four, and go under home and under paragraph section. You'll see something for align right. Add a header to the document. So insert uh, insert header. 
what it's saying. Insert will find blank. Yeah. Insert blank. Center it. Enter approved for posting in the library. So I'm just going to copy that. Copy it with the control C. Control V to paste it. And then we're going to close it. And to close it, you can just click in the body of it and it'll, or double click rather, and um, it'll get you out of the header. Now, what a header does is it puts the exact same content on all the pages um, of the document. Um, and it noticed like it's in a reserved spot. And so it's getting into your margin error areas. <laughs> which is a de by design. You want it at like the very top or the very bottom. You don't want it to be in the content. Um, you want it to be distinguishable as a header or and or footer. And, um, and like I said, it automatically appears on all the pages. So you don't have to manually type it in. Finish the flyer by adding the page border as follows. So let's see, design. Page border, what we're adding. Where do my instructions go? Oh, it's not doing it because that's up. Okay. What are we adding? Page border. Select the border style. Oh, we're supposed to choose it. Okay. And to match the final figure on the following page, select the box border. Okay. Box. Border width is two and a quarter. Border color is olive green. Accent three. Now they said we can do whatever we want, but I'm just going to copy what they have. Okay, hit OK. And let's see. We're going to check the spelling. So, review, spell check. So, I got three spelling errors. Hold on, my dog's going out. Okay, I'm back. And let's see, spelling errors. So biographies, we can have, they give us some suggestions and wanna go with the suggestions. On this one, mysteries, let's see what it's supposed to be. I think it was just supposed to be mysteries, so we're just gonna go with that. And thousands, yep. And so it's complete. Now, what, whenever, after you use the spelling check, spelling check is great, spelling and grammar, just because, you know, it'll catch some of those obvious in, um, flaws, errors in your document. But you do want to do a visual proof as well, just because there may be some words that are spelled correctly, but that's not what you intended. Um, like you could have put, instead of time, you could have put tie. Tie is a word. Tie is not going to be caught. And spelling check. Say, so just do you want to do a visual check just to make sure that it is correct? Um, let's see. It's time for the annual New Clintonsville Public Library used book sale, where you'll find thousands of books, not to mention CDs, DVD, movies, posters, and canvas book bags. All proceeds benefit the New Clintonville Public Library. Members of our booster organization, library friends, members of our booster organization's library friends can take advantage of a special discount. Memberships are also available at the door. So we have this little footnote. And what this document does when you're looking at it electronically, it'll show you what that footnote represents. Um, but when you print it out and somebody's looking at just the paper copy, 
they can see that little one and then they know to look down here. It's like, hey, what's that little one represent? It says maybe it's show your library card for free donut. So we have this um, heading here that kind of distinguishes between the paragraph. It's like a break. It's a visual break. Um, and then we have an image that's eye-catching. We have bullets. Um, they're still accepting donations. I still don't like the fact that this is not white um, like this is. I don't know if I missed something, but because I don't like it, I'm going to change it. Okay. Um, let's see. And I don't like the fact that this is on a second page. So I'm going to change that as well. You don't have to do it wasn't part of the assignment unless I overlooked it. Um, but it's my personal preference whenever designing something like this. So there's a couple of different ways that you can um, put something on one page, especially if just one extra item like that. You can go to, I think, File, Print, and let's see, somewhere in here. Page Setup. Try that again. Page Setup. Oh, where is it? Cancel. Uh, layout margins. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Let's see. Hold up, let me see if I can find it. Okay, I can't find what I'm looking for. I might be thinking of Excel and thought it could do it in Word. Okay, so um, what we can do, because I still don't like the fact that it is on multiple pages, we can do is go to Layout, Margins. Um, let's just try to narrow. Well, it's on one page now to get rid of some of this extra stuff. Uh, it should be one page. I don't know if the settings on this is creating it to be multiple pages. <clears throat> okay, let's not worry about the second page, but I'm still want to fix this. Um, so you can do custom margins. What the hell do I do? Control Z to undo what I just did. Try this again. Layout, margins, custom margins. So let's see. <coughs> Okay, that looks better. Um, I don't know. It was something with the template. The reason I can't delete this page, I don't know why I cannot delete. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, so I like that better. You know, if I was going to be printing this off, I would also center this. Again, this is not part of the homework unless it's something I overlooked. But... Okay, I like this better if I was going to print it off for people to see. Um, so to save it, save is already auto save is already on. Um, I would just still hit Control S just because I would have it. And file. Let's see where it goes. So it should be going to my OneDrive Marshall University. So let's see if we can find it there. Um, so I'm in my OneDrive, and there it is. 
So if I open it, Now, I know this is a problem that um, some of you guys had, like right before we was leaving last Thursday, and we was in a hurry, didn't really have a hard, I wasn't able to really help. So, OneDrive, OneDrive is not exactly the same as the desktop version. What you saw me do was on the desktop version of Microsoft Word. OneDrive, it has a lot of very similarities, and it's a great tool, but it can be kind of buggy. So if you see this up in here, open in desktop app, click on that. And it's working. I'm going to pause this while it's working. I'm going to try this again. Okay. So once it gets done working, I had to close out the Word file that I had already opened. Because I didn't close it out before going into OneDrive. And now after I did, it then it worked fine. So open Word. You can check that if you want to always open these types of links in an associated app, which is Word. I would check that um, probably always like 99% of the time it's going to be yes. So you hit open word and those are the instructions waiting for and there it is. So if yours was, if you were concerned because and then yeah, if it doesn't work, you can try launching Microsoft Word again. Um, or you can just resume editing in OneDrive. Now, but like you said, like you can see here, OneDrive, it doesn't always accurately reflect what it would look like on the desktop version. That's just how OneDrive is. Um, so, let's see. I'll show you something. So this is OneDrive. It's got it's on my browser. See, it's got the tabs and stuff. This is just my um, desktop of Microsoft. And what one of the things that OneDrive does is if I'm clicking anywhere on here, so say I want to make a change to the Clintonville Public Library, you'll see this cursor PT. And which is me and say I want to change this to be I don't know something simple gold Let's see if it's going to fire out me a little bit save it okay I think it bolted it I can't really tell I need something that's more easier to see go and hit undo that Save it. Let's do something different. Okay, let's make these bullets. So let's select all those bullets and we're going to make them a different style. Let's make them check marks. And then save it. And this should appear to be check marks. There we go. So there's a little bit of a delay there just because this is the browser. This is on the internet and this is your desktop. Um, they are connected. And even though this is on the side, on the desktop is on the pulls around the side, um, like it's supposed to be, um, and it does not look like this on the OneDrive, just just be aware that sometimes things may not be all as they appear on the OneDrive version, but if you actually look on the desktop version, they will be fine. I'm um, we'll going to go ahead and undo that and save it. 
and this should update as well shortly. There we go. So what would it, I'm in the OneDrive again, so what would it look like if I printed it? Print this. And um, so I don't have a printer hooked up, but you can see that uh, even though in OneDrive it looks like the bullets are down here, when you actually print it off, it's correct. Okay. Um, so just be aware of some of those things in regards to OneDrive. Um, I think that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions.